welcome to mini tutorials in spectroscopy. Let's talk about pure rotational transitions. Within the rigid rotor approximation, the rotational energies of linear molecules are described by the equation f of j equals b times j times j plus 1. This gives rise to a ladder of rotational energy levels which exhibit increasing separation with increasing j value. Owing to the fact that photons carry one unit of angular momentum, rotational transitions obey a delta j equals plus or minus one selection rule. Thus we find that rigid rotor transitions of nu j equals 2b times j plus one are allowed. To be more accurate in our description, we must account for the fact that molecules are non-rigid, and we do so by introducing a term that corrects for centrifugal distortion. Let's consider carbon monoxide, which has a rotational constant of B equals 1.922529 reciprocal centimeters, and centrifugal distortion constant of 6.03717 times 10 to the minus 6 reciprocal centimeters for its ground electronic state. If we are interested in the new 15 transition, we must calculate the energy difference between the J equals 15 and J equals 16 rotational energy levels. Using our rigid rotor expression, we see that the new 15 transition is equal to 32B. We also arrive at this value using the rigid rotor transition expression. Substitution then yields a value of 61.52093 reciprocal centimeters for new 15. To be more accurate, we can employ the centrifugal distortion constant to correct for the bond elongation due to rotation. Now we see that the new 15 transition is equal to 32B minus 16,384 D. Substitution of the B and D constants yields a value of 61.42202 reciprocal centimeters for new 15. If we are interested instead in a symmetric top molecule, we must decide if our molecule is prolate or oblate. While the prolate and oblate rotational energy level expressions look similar, it is important to note that in the prolate case, energy for a particular value of J increases with K, whereas it decreases with increasing K in the oblate case. The selection rules for symmetric top rotational transitions are delta J equals plus or minus one, and delta K equals zero. For rigid rotors, this results in a transition expression of nu J equals two B times J plus one, which we can again correct with centrifugal distortion constants. Let's consider methyl bromide and calculate the J equals two to three transitions, which are labeled as J sub K here. If we use the rigid rotor approximation, all three transitions occur at exactly the same wave number. If we instead use the non-rigid rotor model, we find that the k-dependent term results in a separation or splitting of the three transitions. I hope that you found this short video on pure rotational transitions useful. See you next time.